They did not. Well, some disparaging comments from Dr. Jerry Graham concerning the. Uh, and he said, talk, talk that way about Rex Slater, our champion. Yeah. Yeah, he's the sour grapes. That's all. Bump. <laughs> Rex Steiner, though, a very worthy and capable I, champion. I hate to say it, but I think maybe Graham's pulled in a ringer here with this guy in a mask. It could be. Could Jerry. be, could be a champion from some... I mean, the guy looks... Could pretty. be anybody under that mask. Yeah. No telling. He Rex Steiner over the top of the assassin. You don't suppose that could be Wojo under there? I, I don't Same think size. So. I don't think so. Same, Same size, Terry. Scott Rex Steiner, a guy possessed with some amazing moves in that ring. <laughs> fabulous athletic ability. Yeah. And you talk about a solid wrestling background. He started when he was in junior high, was a high school state champion in the state of Michigan. Then went on to the University of Michigan, where he was a Big Ten wrestling champion. Yeah. Only been wrestling for a couple of years, too. Imagine that. There's Dr. Jerry Graham ominously lurking about ringside. A constant threat to any opponent. The rain man he manages. Break of the eyes by the assassin. Broke up that move by Rex Steiner, the world champion. Whoever the assassin is, he sucks him hard, boy. He does, boy. He's laying some tough ones in there. Graham shouting advice to the assassin from the outside. Big body slam. And Rex Steiner's definitely having his problems here, Boozer. Uh, I'm kind of amazed that Graham's been getting back this fast. This could be another upset right now. Well, that's why they... I'll tell you the way it looks to me. This is exactly what Wojo was doing to Rex Steiner. That's true. When he beat him. That's true. So maybe Graham is doing this. Yeah, he's in trouble. Oh, is Over the top goes Rex Steiner. Oh, yeah. the second time. Beautiful drop kicks by Rex Steiner. Boy, he does that well. Flying head scissors. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good thing Graham got out of the way of that. And another one by oh, oh. the champion. What a great oh, champ he is. Look at that. Oh, right on his head, Terry. Beautiful, beautiful. Here comes oh, Graham. Watch Graham. out. Graham's on his way into the ring, but Rex Steiner nonetheless got the victory. Graham now challenging the champion. Yeah. The assassin right there. Two on one situation here now. As there he is, Dr. Jerry Graham. No matter what Graham had planned with it, this, this wrestler here. Tommy Angel, what a tremendous young tag team combination they are. And they've got championships and they've got dollars in front of their eyes. And they're both very attainable for this young team. But they're in against a rough one. Big roughhouse Graham. He's big, strong, powerful. And his partner, Johnny Del Rio. Del Rio is quick. He and roughhouse Graham should really complement each other. They have different styles in the ring. Different builds, different makeups. So... TNT is not going to be able to wrestle the same style against both of them. Del Rio has got a lot of quickness, and he's got a lot of size. He's a tall young man, has a good leverage advantage over most opponents. He certainly does over TNT in the ring. Tommy Angel ducked right under, or Tommy Siebel ducked under that good quick arm drag. Angel now still outside the ring. Seabold in. Seabold showed you right there he has no bad effects from that knee injury of his and that leg injury as he really turned it up a notch to show us a tremendous amount of quickness. What an outstanding program we have for you this week, fans. The Patriot is going to be here. We'll see the Patriot wrestle the cruel connection. Rob Von Dahm against Sammy Morton. That match also during this hour. Rusty Riddle against Tyrone Knox. And Neil Superior will be making his debut against Mike Starr. Del, Del, Del Rio, as he went up for that drop kick, and all of you fans probably saw that it was short. He didn't 
quite get up enough of steam and power behind that one. Takedown now by Tommy Angel with the arm and the arm bar. Now, good pressure by Angel. Elbow now right to the back, and that was right between the shoulder blades. Good move by the part of Angel. He ducked right under with that backflip. Now with a knee right down across the jaw. And pressure on the arm and the shoulder. Fans, this week we want to say a special hello to Chuck Ricks in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Chuck watches South Atlantic Pro Wrestling every Tuesday afternoon on Prime Network in Missouri. Hey, Chuck, glad to have all you wrestling fans in Missouri on Prime Network. Hope you'll keep watching each week South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. Well, they made a tag. It uh, enabled them to get almost a double team. It was first Angel in Seabolt right there waiting on Del Rio. Good, quick arm drag. Take down now by Seabolt. You got to be impressed with the fact that the way he's come back after that injury, that he's really being been able to get in the ring and compete and compete on this level. Seabold with the arm. Good pressure down to the arm as again here is Del Rio on his feet turning in. That forearm was right to the side of the head. Picks him up. Slams him hard to the mat. Well, we talked about Del Rio being big and strong and powerful and fans. He showed you some of it right there. Look at Seabold with those elbows. A time and time and time again. Hard right down across the arm. And he's gone back to that arm again. If you get a man hurt, you get him injured, stay with it. That's what Seabolt's trying to do now as he's trying to work on that left arm almost exclusively. But Del Rio goes back to the corner. We're going to get our first look at Big Roughhouse Graham. Graham steps through the ropes now into the ring and faces Tommy Seabolt. And they tie up out near the center of the ring. And Graham, as you might expect, right away went right to the eyes. Into the headlock and in that big left hand. He's got tape around the knuckles on that right hand. He can put you away with that tremendous powerhouse right of his. Seabolt into the corner of the big fist, right down around the throat. The choke as Seabolt was helpless into the corner. The reversal on the whip. Out comes Graham, and down he goes. The clothesline caught him coming out of the corner. Quickly now, Seabolt. That's the way you got to wrestle the man as big and strong and powerful as Roughhouse Graham is. You got to use your quickness. You got to use the speed, and that's what the two are doing after the tag. Angel had the leg hook tag. Here comes Johnny Del Rio. Boy, he felt that one all the way down to the tips of his toes, high to the air. Angel's got him. This could be it. Arms away. With the letters you've been sending us, and we're getting close to bringing Dancing on Air to Southern California. We need more support, so keep those letters and cards coming. Remember, that's Dancing on Air, PO Box 56 TV, Anaheim, California, 92803. So get ready to get down. That's Dancing on Air, PO Box 56 TV, Anaheim, California, 92803. Let's make it a date. I want to talk, talk about that, pal. You know, th that was just snuck up on us. I don't know how they did it. How they somehow it wangled it. I'm going to tell you why, pal. Don't interrupt me, pal. You know, we weren't supposed to wrestle him on television. I told him I would take my time to wrestle Fat Boy. Well, but you, uh, Tux Newman came out here and said anywhere, anytime that he would definitely have. And we will, pal, in and our time. But all of a sudden, would body slam him. I will body slam him. But let me tell you something, pal. Let me tell you something. He's Tux is back there talking to our lawyers now because Bear Trap somehow finagled a contract to wrestle him on TV. But I'm going to tell you something. I am furious. I'm going to tell you something, fat boy. You're in trouble now because I'm putting you on a diet. I'm busting your jaw. It's going to be wired together so you won't be able to eat. You'll come back here weighing about 150 pounds. That's right. Plus, I will body slam him. I will dribble that fat man around the ring like a basketball. You're going to see that, pal. Well, ready or not, it's coming your way because the contract has been signed and you're going to do it. 
Well, we're gonna see about that, pal. That's all I gotta say. Well, let's see this right now. Then we'll be back with more action right here. And all right. The I looks as though he has a chain. He, he does, does have, have a chain. chain. He does have a chain, and he kind of headlocks him, hits him in the head. He's pounding him around, pounding around, pounding him, going after him. He's got him. He's, he's choking him. Choke him down. He's, he's trying to do him. all that he can. And it seemed to me that the referee could see it. Right, why wouldn't the screaming. referee stop this? I don't know why he isn't. He could obviously it's see a blatant he's got a chain. out and out choke there. He's got a chain and uh, he's continuing to rip away with that chain. What does Rippert hold up his hand? Five. What does five, that mean? I don't know he what it means. Five the, big man, the big man's going to have to come out. And now uh, there's some diversion going on by Tuck Yes, Newman. there is. There is. There is. There is. I can tell that. He's choking him. He's Blake's trying to choke back. He's turning white. I think he might. He's definitely hiding the chain from the yeah, ref. He, he could be he passing out here. Be he Bearcat could. could be passing out right Unless on television. Bearcat comes up awful high, and he's going to have to come up and do something. And, and now he's slipping the chain back to Tux. I get looked as, that, as though he was doing it like that. And uh, he's, he's got the big man down. Yeah, I've, never seen the, I've never seen the big man down yet. <clears throat> He's pulling him by the hand. Got him. He's got the big, right, the big man man's fell on him on the rope. There he goes. The big man is pounding away at him. Right, the 480 pounds going into him. And he gets him down. Right, didn't he's do got him down. Let's time. see what he'll do with him. And Tux is jumping into the ring here. Uh, Tux is in the ring, and I don't and know what, what he's he doing there. Come on, let's see. Well, he's got, now he's got oh, right. Tux in the corner. He threw two. Now, now he's got Tux. Right. Ha. He's knocking Tuck. He's got out of him. In it. Here comes Ripper now. He, he'll probably get here. Now he's got both, he's of, got them both of them in there. Hey, he's going to give him the patented bear trap bear hug. This is really and doing Ripper it. In the corner. Where's the ref? Walk away. He threw Ripper off. Oh, 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 Tuck has got up. something. Tux has got something in him. I don't know what he's got. He's got powder, or he's got some or sort of powder on him. Or he's got something. I don't know what he's gonna do. Uh, he's gonna. He's obviously got it, but he. How many? There's gonna have to be some this help here. Serious, well, even the uh, referee he had something in his eye. Uh, the 